found out that the film I filmed earlier didn't work. So I'm going to have to walk you through this step, guys. Excuse the paper. It's a new pan. I couldn't get all the paper off. Anyway, what I did was I brought my broccoli in, cleaned it, cut it, separated all the little uh, florets, and I filled this pan full of water and let it come to a boil. You put your broccoli in and you let it boil, or wait till it comes back to a boil, and then you set your timer for three minutes and you let it boil for three minutes. Then we're going to take it out and I'm going to get two bowls with water and ice and we're going to throw the broccoli in it for three minutes to shock it so it quits cooking. Okay guys, I have my broccoli in my water with ice. I'm going to keep it in here, I boiled it for three minutes, so I'm going to keep it in here for three minutes and then we'll take it out and dry it and get ready for the next process. After three minutes, I took my broccoli out and put them on my little uh, cookie sheets with uh, paper towels. You're going to let them sit on the paper towels after you drain them for about a half an hour. Let make sure the broccoli is good and dry, and then just we'll just throw them in some bags and throw them in the freezer. After my broccoli dried, I made sure it was dry. I put it in quart-sized bags and put the date on it. And I got six of them, which I thought was really good off those three heads of broccoli. I've still got a couple heads left in the garden that aren't quite ready yet. But these should last six to nine, or actually, yeah, six to nine months in the freezer. They'll be gone way before then for us because we really enjoy broccoli. But this is part of the harvest from my garden this year. Hope you guys have a great evening. Bye.